Hi guys, David. I got some uh, good news. Well, two, three different things going on. Number one is the fact that I'm almost done with my software, my uh, coupon saving software program. I'm almost done with that. I'm probably about 95% done with it. And uh, also another good thing that I found out was the fact that Kroger's actually, and I forgot about that too, actually. I knew about it before, but I just totally forgot about it. But actually, Kroger's is affiliated with lots of stores all throughout the U.S. So, I can, I'm going to have to check on it, but it should be able to work for all those other stores as well, too, all throughout the U.S. So, that'd be like Food for Less, Fry's, uh, Ralph's, and a few others that I've seen, too, that I already checked into. So, those are stores that are affiliated with Kroger's. And, um, but I'll have to check to see if any of those websites are different than what the Kroger's website will be as far as how it's set up but if it's the same then it's going to work for sure as far as my, my uh, computer software program is going to work for sure on those other uh, stores as well too so that means that uh, at the you know at the very least if I have to I can make specific programs for like Ralph's or make one for food for less or whatever uh, for those other stores uh, but otherwise it should work even how it is right now the one I got set up for Kroger's because I've got it set up too to where you just log into it with your own password and stuff you don't log in with you know with your own uh, way that you would normally log in anyways I didn't set it up of course obviously for anybody to you know log in individual like that because um, I'd have to have your password to do that so I'm not going to go through all that I'm going to have you do your own login still so there's no security issues at all or nothing to be worried about at all on that issue and then you can still use the, uh, the program, you know, like you're supposed to. And uh, so that's some good information on that, or some great news anyways. And then uh, another thing too, is that my Mr. Buddy heater actually stopped working all the way. I have not been able to get it working in about two days now. So, and of course that's not good news, but the good news part though is I do have a replacement for right now, a temporary replacement. It's the type that you uh, just plug into or well, you just plug it right into the propane tank, the 20 pound propane tank, you just plug it right into it. And it's from like 9,000 BTUs up to 13,000 BTUs, I think is what it is. So definitely still puts out some great heat. And yeah, of course I will still be opening opening my windows to make sure there is ventilation, so no worries about that. But uh, so yeah, I definitely got a replacement because in fact tonight though, it's actually supposed to get down to 12 degrees tonight, uh, the low of 12 degrees. And of course, with wind chill, it's going to probably be either at zero or below. And tomorrow, even during the daytime, it's going to be 18 degrees. I'm looking at the the weather thing right now on my phone. And then uh, tomorrow night, it's going to be 11 degrees. So definitely cold starting tonight, and within the next few days for sure, it's definitely going to be cold for sure. So I wanted to make sure I was still going to be ready for it and prepared for it. So. What I did was today I went and donated, and then after that I went straight out to uh, Home Depot, and I got that unit. The one I said is you can just um, screw it right onto the 20-pound uh, tank, and uh, of course, obviously, I didn't get the Mr. Heater uh, propane, uh, well, Mr. Heater, um, Mr. Buddy Heater again because of the fact I don't have enough money for it right now. Excuse me, but uh, I'll still get one of those too later down the line as well. So that's still going to be in the works too later on, but right now. The replacement that I got will still come in very handy to make sure I'm going to be able to stay warm though for sure because when it gets to be like 12 degrees outside then that's getting to be worse like dangerous type as far as temperature so you want to make sure that you know you are prepared for sure make sure that you're not playing around when it comes to temperatures like that so I'll definitely be ready for it and I'll be nice and toasty tonight though even though it's going to be that cold I'll still be nice and warm and toasty so yeah, that's it for this uh, quick update for you guys. If anything else happens today, I'll put some other clips onto this video. But otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, guys. Hi, guys. This is David again. I wanted to just show you a quick shot as far as what that looks like. You probably can't see it too good right there on the box, but here's what it looks like on the propane tank. So yeah, definitely this will work for sure to keep me nice and warm. And let me take a look here. Um, it's actually 9,000 to 15,000 BTUs is what it is. Uh, but I'm going to, of course, have it on the low setting because that's all I need it on is low setting. And the 9,000 BTUs will be just fine to heat up this whole van for sure, though. So, yep, that's it, guys. Uh, 
hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and let me know if you have any questions or concerns so that's it guys and thanks for watching and have a great day